Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Um, sorry I've been away for a while, but I'm back now, and I think that's what counts. Um, so here we've got a battle with youngster Michael and his Cricketop, and I'm going to send out my Elliot. And yeah, they're going to face it off, and I'm going to tackle attack, and he's going to bide, but bide has needs because it needs to store up for a couple of goes. Doesn't actually get to get any damage off, and it's easy EXP. Um, I'm just trying to record in a different room today um i think it's got a bit more echo in this room so it means i don't have to talk as loudly and my voice might be clearer but if it's completely rubbish i'll go back into the, the um, other room that i normally narrate in okay so here we have another battle with the guy with the zuba and flamon completely beats it oh no it's the same guy ah oh, my bad just didn't pay attention did i i'll go punish myself in the corner Okay, so there's a Pokeball, and yep, yeah, it's sometimes handy, and oh my god, I didn't see that guy, He's and he's the Shinx guy, and um, yeah, I'm like, it's Shinx, and Shinx, they must be brothers, but they're not, because not every Pokemon's related, and obviously my Shinx is way stronger, because I can just use two tackle attacks, and it's down, but not really, because, you know, it lives on a tiny amount of health that I can't really see, um, yeah, so we grow to level 11, which makes Elliot so much higher level than Flame On, because Flame On needs more experience. So I'm just going to switch him around, and then I'm going to go and battle this guy. And that picture there, that screenshot there, was one of the pre-release pictures. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay, pointless trivia for the win. Okay, so Ember is going to do quite a bit. Low Kick's going to do a little bit, but not loads, because I can just use three Embers and it'll be down. And... He's so slow that low kick doesn't have time to affect me all that much. Okay, so we go to level 10 and nearly 11. Oh, God, I got a lot of, loads of EXP off there. Loads. Okay, so if we go up here, this girl is like, I've already got a nifty gym badge from the gym leader in Orberg City. I'm like, well, doesn't that mean if I beat her, then the gym's going to be easy? Well, maybe not. Maybe. I guess she had the type advantage probably um my fire type attacks will weaken so i'm just gonna have to use scratch and oh i think my scratch is slightly more powerful yep yep it is oh i love this team and i can't wait to show you the rest of my team i can't wait to catch it all i'm trying to use a team that i've not seen anyone else use before i'm not going to say that no one's used it before because i bet someone has but i'm trying to use a team that i've not seen anyone use before Okay, so, um, yeah, and um, we've got Repel there, and I can't wait to start buying Repels. God, I can't wait for much, can I? Um, yeah, so when you walk into Orberg Cave, this guy tells you, talks about your um, nifty Poketch, and gives you HMO6, which is Rock Smash, but you can't use it until you've got the gym badge from Orberg City, so, yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for, our oh, potion, yeah, because Flamon's weak. Um, yeah, God, I need to pay more attention, aren't I? Okay, this guy's showing us what trainers do because they accept challenges. And he's called Curtis and he's got a Starly and I blooming hate those Starlies. So I'm like, Flame One, you've got to beat this because I hate it. And it's nearly a one-hit KO. I'm like, because they're weak and they've got rubbish defence. Yep, scratch attack and it's down. And it's a Shinx. I'm like, oh, Shinx, I like Shinx. Curtis, you've got more brownie points because you've got a Shinx. But, you know, I nearly one-hit KO it with my Ember because my Pokemon have, like, awesome stats and stuff. Um, I should check their IVs. Yeah, not going to because it doesn't really matter for an in-game stuff. Okay, move Shinx to the front because, yeah, we're going to go for a battle. And I knew she had a Bidoof. Although I don't know any electric attacks, although that wouldn't really matter because Bidoof isn't water type, so that was completely pointless. But Bidoof is so bulky and he knows defense curl, which is like, Ugh! but never mind. We can still beat it because we are awesome like that. Yeah. And they, they don't do much because they've not got a very good attack, but we have. And they've got Ugh! defense curl. I could really do with a critical hit right now. But, you know, I'm not going to get it, am I, really? Um. Oh, and this, I started getting a bit worried that I wasn't going to beat it. I was like, oh, 2 HP, I'm not going to risk it. So I had to use a potion, which I hate doing, but I'm going to have to because I don't want to risk it. And I think that they would have beaten me because I don't know if I would have beaten them. No, I wouldn't have done. That potion was really necessary if I wanted Elliot to live. Um, Yeah, so I beat Diane and she's like, was it Diana? I think it was Diana. 
you can tell me um you don't have to so when you walk into Orberg city which is the first main city in the games um this guy shows you where the gym is and he's like oh there's someone standing in front of them. I was like it's barry but we're going to ignore barry because we don't like him yeah um my repels effects wore off wear off um and we go in here and i'm just going to buy some more repels see if i had them and i'm going to heal up and now i'm going to go talk to barry she's like oh it's you when you're finally here um and then starts talking about the gym leader being missing. So we're going to go hunt for the gym leader. But where could he be? Is he in here? Are you the gym leader? Are you the gym No, he's not the gym leader. Are you the gym leader? No, he's not the gym leader. Where is the gym leader? Could they be around here? Could they be in this place? No. No, gym leader's not in there. No. Maybe they are in this house. Are you the gym leader? No. He has something for Orange Pikachu. And are you the gym leader? No. Where could the gym leader be? Where could the gym leader be? Uh, Maybe the gym leader's down here. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, 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 Machop, are you the gym leader? No. No. Oh, look, there's a item. Are you the gym leader? No. And there's a yellow shard. Where is the gym leader? Where's the gym leader? Oh, no. Maybe the gym leader's down here. Maybe this item's gym leader. No, it's a Pokeball. Where is the gym leader? We're on the hunt for the gym leader. Yeah. Um, random singing. Um, yeah. So if we go down here, after you pick up this item, because we all have potions and run into Bob Pokemon, <gasps> you talk to this guy. Are you the gym leader? Okay, stand back and watch this. He knows Rock Smash, which means he's got the gym badge. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, he's the gym leader. Oh, right, I did already know that. I'm not stupid. But anyway, um, so this place is full of wild Pokemon. Um, mainly Zubat, Geodude, Onyx. Uh, yeah, see, two steps, two wild Pokemon. They're everywhere. They're nothing overly useful. You know, if you want to use them on your team, that's fine. But I'm not a big fan. Okay, oh, look, time change. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, going to start running. And yeah, we're going to battle this guy in the gym, which is the first uh, boss area. Um, if you don't, if you're new to Pokemon, you've got two or three or a couple of trainers beforehand. Then you've got the big gym leader, who's the boss. You have to battle the two or three or however many before it before you can then battle the actual gym leader itself. So um, it's not as easy as just going in and battling it. But yeah, so we can beat that pretty easily. And we beat Jonathan, and yeah, go up here, there's the next person, and he is Darius, and he has a Geodude 2, but a lower level this time, so surely it should be easier, surely. Yeah, they get very repetitive and um, slightly boring, because, you know, they're all the same battling Geodude and Onyx, and yeah, we get a critical hit there, a good useful crit, because, you know took down the amount of attacks still could have beat it but just in less so look again onyx you haven't seen an onyx yet yeah good one to add to your party if you haven't seen it already i don't know why i went into elliot don't know why i went into elliot why did i go into elliot oh to lower its defenses which turned out to be pointless because it then uses some attack to rise raise its defense yeah it uses harden so me using Lear is not going to do anything. So, yeah, I'll go back into Flame On and I can just beat it with them. But see, now it's back to its normal defence. Yeah, so that was a bit pointless, to be quite honest. Um, Yeah, I say yeah a lot. Need to stop saying yeah. If, if I say it again, I'll punish myself. Um, Yeah, oh, <laughs> that was completely accidental. Um, oh, look, there's the timer. We're at the end of the video. So, yeah, see you next time where we'll be taking on Rourke, the Orberg City gym leader. Bye.